Catherine Paul with Regeneration International and the Organic Consumers Association. We're in London today at an event called Regenerative Development to Reverse Climate Change in the Commonwealth. I'm here with one of today's speakers. His name is David McConnell and he's co-chair of the Buckminster Fuller Institute in San Francisco. David, we're so uh, glad that you took a few minutes here to, to talk with us after the, today's program. Could you, uh, first of all, just give us a little brief idea about what the Buckminster Fuller Institute is doing around climate change these days and why you thought it was important to be at this event? Sure, happy to. Um, well, the Institute really focuses on a lot of the approach that Fuller was developing and advocating for taking more integrative, comprehensive, kind of anticipatory approaches to mm -hmm. integrating design and science. And so we don't necessarily explicitly focus on climate change. We really, we run a prize program and we're looking for projects uh, that are, as, as we put out the call, designed to make the world work for 100% of humanity in the shortest possible time, mm -hmm. the spontaneous cooperation without ecological offense or the disadvantage of anyone. Basically, we're trying to optimize planetary health as quickly as possible and find the strategies for doing that. And so a lot of what Fuller wrote about and a lot of what we really have been researching for the past decade and longer is mm -hmm. what does it look like to apply the principles of regeneration? What does that look like in the, the design of our systems, of our infrastructure, and in the way that we're thinking? And so the Commonwealth Project is actually a very uh, intriguing uh, unfolding of a large coherent body of many, many nation states that mm -hmm. uh, are really looking for how can they leverage these relationships between these smaller nations, these very large nations, a significant portion of the human population on our planetary spaceship um, to be able to address the, the stabilization of the carbon cycle. And it's really, I think it's really much more than just climate change per se. It's actually how are we stabilizing and becoming uh, much more supportive of the living systems of the planet. Excellent. So uh, you made some interesting comments when we were chatting before uh, just about the conversation around climate change, how difficult it is for those of us who are wrapped up in our daily lives to even grasp the concept because it doesn't seem to be touching us right now in the here and now. Um, you wanna talk a little bit about that and, and your views on, on how we can involve more people in, in a way that's meaningful and not overwhelming to them? Uh, happy to, yeah. Um, the, the title of today's program was uh, Regenerative Development Mm -hmm. uh, to reverse climate change. And regenerative development is really a, a school of thought uh, that's been emerging for a couple of decades, um, actually for thousands of years, but, but under that title, mm -hmm. um, that's really looked at, but under the and, and essence of, of, of the people that we work with, the places where we work. And the Commonwealth is such an interesting uh, collection and, and, and diversity of places, of people, of cultures, mm -hmm. that, that it's, a, it's a significant opportunity to really try to understand what would it look like to treat each one as a living system so that the way that we are thinking about the application of technology, the design of infrastructure, the design of human organizations, that it's really uh, how, how are we synchronizing those with the living systems in those places that are then embedded, of course, within the nested scales of the living systems of the whole planet. Beautiful. So uh, let's, we'll, we'll wrap our little conversation up. We are going to be speaking later, we hope, to uh, Paul Hawken and also the Secretary General of the uh, Commonwealth, Patricia Scotland. But um, before we move on to uh, our next interviews, I'd love to hear from David about your, your thoughts about this meeting today. Mm -hmm. Are you leaving in a hopeful um, mood? Do you think there was progress made? Do you think that uh, the path forward is looking positive? Hmm. Um, are you going to continue to participate in this in this group? Absolutely. Um, I, I try not to focus too much on hope or on fear. I, I really like to focus no. on, on like tangible things that are. And what I mm -hmm. saw here were a lot of people that were incredibly engaged uh, in the work of increasing the health and well-being of their communities mm -hmm. and that care deeply about you know, the, the people of their, of their cultures of the, uh, across the Commonwealth, of the relationships that they have to the places where they are. And it seemed like there were some real shifts 
in kind of, you know, figure ground. There were like some understandings that were flipped, some metaphors that were flipped even around how it is we could be thinking about climate change, as, as Paul says, not just something that's happening to us, but something that's happening for us. That it's really a, a, an opportunity for us to ask very deeply, like what is this feedback mechanism that we're getting from the planet and how can we begin to think about our own role and our own responsibility for beginning to synchronize with cycles more effectively. And in a sense, you know, developing a, a, a knowledge about what it means to be a planetary species that is at the same time highly situated in specific places. So it's something unlike I think we've ever had to do before. Um, mm -hmm. And if this is any indication, the meeting today, I think we've got a pretty good chance um, of, of continually evolving together and perhaps even being around for a while. Great, wonderful thoughts, interesting ideas. We really appreciate your time today. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you, it was a pleasure to meet you. All right.